If you've been thinking to yourself, I want to get into a cybersecurity field, but I have no idea where to even start. As a matter of fact, maybe you have absolutely no cybersecurity experience at all. Maybe you have no experience in technology at all. Well, that's all right, because I created this video and a whole series of videos like this because of your questions about where to begin in cybersecurity in the first place. For those of you who are new to this channel, this is the Ask NATO channel where I answer your cybersecurity questions about career and especially things that have to do with cybersecurity, you know, where to begin, fundamentals, and things like remote work with cybersecurity. Especially these days, it seems like there's a lot of interest and in questions around remote work and getting a new cybersecurity job for the very first time. So we're here to talk about how you can get cybersecurity work for the very first time. Let me teach you where to begin, even if you have absolutely no cybersecurity experience whatsoever. So trying to start any new event in your life where you're trying to maybe graduate high school and then go on to go to college or go get a job or maybe you just want to go get a job or maybe you've been working a job and you're going to take a year off to just go travel. I have no idea what new things all of you are going to be trying in your lives and what new things you try on a regular basis, but if you're watching this video you're probably the sort of person who is hoping to find something new and find a change where you can get into a field like cybersecurity with absolutely no experience, no knowledge about what's going on with what, and, you know, turn into that person who knows what's going on with what, because you can't be the person who knows nothing forever. That's called being lazy. And we've all met those people so don't be that person you can always do things so if we are sitting here trying to make a life change something that's going to benefit us make us more money make us more free time i have no idea what you're looking for maybe you want more money and more free time so that's something that most people seem to want all of the time including myself it would be wonderful to have more free time and more money so, if you're trying to make that shift to cybersecurity, the first thing that you probably need to do is figure out what cybersecurity even is. Cybersecurity is a big, confusing field with things like security awareness training, and if you don't know what security awareness training is, that's one thing to look up. And then we have things like blue team and red team, all things to look up. You don't know what any of these things are if you haven't worked in cybersecurity. You might wonder if maybe getting an IT job is a better idea than getting a cybersecurity job. You might wonder if cybersecurity and IT are the same thing. You might have all these different questions. Well, the first step to trying to figure out how to get into cybersecurity is try to understand the field, try to understand what cybersecurity is, and then start building some goals. So if you hear of something that sounds interesting or sounds cool, then maybe you think getting into forensics sounds interesting. Maybe your goal is financial. So the first thing you wanna do is start setting goals. If you don't have a goal, then you're not going to get far with just about anything you do in your life. People who are like, I just hope that the world comes to me. The world will come to you, just not in the way that you're probably <laughs> hoping. I shouldn't be laughing, that's terrible, actually, that's really bad. Uh, so, if you're the type of person who wants the world to come to you, something's coming. And I do hope you the best. I, I, I hope things work out well after that. But, really, for the rest of us who want to have things occur that we can sustain, because if we think about the lottery, the lottery is not sustainable. If you, Even if you try to win the lottery, you probably won't. And then if you win the lottery, 
it's not something that you can reproduce. So if you spend all the money, you don't know how to get that kind of money ever again. It's just all chance. You can't learn how to win the lottery once a week or once a month or even once a year. It just doesn't really work that way. It's all chance. It's all luck. Building a career should never be luck. So step number one is start to understand what cybersecurity is and start to build some goals. And if you don't know what types of goals you can build, then let that goal be that you want to have a six-figure cyber cybersecurity job. That's something you can start with. A lot of people want a six-figure XYZ enter any field. People want a six-figure accounting job. People want a six-figure software engineering job, data scientist job. Well, if you're the one who wants a six-figure cybersecurity job, then that's a goal. It's it's something. It's better than saying you don't you don't have to know if you want to be in forensics yet. You don't have to know if you want to be a CISO. You don't have to know what you want to be in cybersecurity, but make a goal that you can figure out something like, I want to find a job that makes me happy. That's a goal. Or maybe you, you care more about maximum pay. Maybe you want to just simply make six figures. So otherwise, for those of you who know what you want to be, maybe you want to work for the FBI. Maybe you want to do cybersecurity forensics. Maybe you want to be a person who creates cybersecurity tools that all of the professionals use. Maybe you want to be a traveling consultant. There's so many different things you can do in cybersecurity. Maybe you want to be someone who works with teaching people how to keep their own company secure and works with their entire company in a security awareness training program. So if you don't know what you want, still set a goal and say, I want this goal to be met, but then you also have to give it a time frame. So you can't just have a goal and then not have a time frame for how you want that goal to be met. So if it's like, all right, I want to make a six figure job in cybersecurity. Okay, great. That could take, you know, 50 years if you don't put a time limit on when you want to make that money. So maybe you look around and you say, does it seem reasonable to make a six figure salary job in cybersecurity within five years? I'll tell you that that's possible. It's possible. Is it hard? Sure. Are there things that can make it take longer than five years to get to a six figure salary in cybersecurity? Sure. Can you be in cybersecurity and never make six figures? I make a video, well, rather made a video on money in cybersecurity. So if you're wondering about how much people get made in cybersecurity, watch that video. But if you at least choose a salary range for how much you'd like to be making, and then you give it a time frame like five years, six figures in five years, then you can go see what jobs would make that possible. Perhaps you want to be a cybersecurity consultant. That would be possible to make six figures within five years. Maybe you want to be a software engineer in the cybersecurity space. That would make six figures. And so once you actually have some kind of goal, then you can start to form your goal into something actionable where it's, okay, six figures in cybersecurity. Now use your, use your research mind. In your research mind, you can go online and start looking around and looking up what jobs in cybersecurity pay six figures. Look those things up. If you go to Glassdoor or Indoor and look at salary ranges for certain types of jobs and they don't pay what you're looking for, maybe you even have to move to another town to get that salary that you're looking for, depending on the role you want to do, but you got to see what exists. You have to set up a goal to even be able to look around and see what exists. No goal means you don't even know what you're looking for. People who want to have fancy things in their lives come to them and things that they want to just magically work out. If you want something and you just wait for things to come to you, things don't come to people, but if if you're trying to cross the street, then you have to get up and walk, right? So the first step is, you have to at least look around, open your eyes, and start setting some goals, and come up with something that you can walk toward in your mind, like the type of role that you see yourself in. So that is part one of this video, is the very first thing that you need to do when trying to get into the cybersecurity field, where to begin, The place to begin is by first 
setting in some goals, and then refining those goals. That's it. Set some goals, refine the goals, and then research those goals, and then see if other people have been doing those same things. That's it. And if it's something that seems pretty common or pretty standard, and that's what you're seeing online, then it's it's there. If, if it if you can find other people online who did what you're trying to do, you can do it too. And that's the first thing that you need to do when trying to figure out where to begin. In the next part of this video series, I'm going to talk about self-awareness and using your self-awareness to start to make sure that goals can work out and make sure that what you're going to do is going to be sustainable and something that you can continue doing for years where you know do, do goals make sense for you you have to have a goal but then you also have to determine is that goal going to be something that you're going to follow through on or something that you're going to want to follow through on and so a little self-awareness is going to be necessary when you're trying to figure out what to do next so this video is for those of you who have no idea how to get started in cybersecurity and have absolutely no experience in cybersecurity whatsoever, and you just want to go and start a cybersecurity career today. In my videos, I don't sugarcoat things. I just say it like it is from my perspective. Other people might have different perspectives. I'm not saying that whatever I say is the end all be all, but this is, to my experience, what I've seen work and what seems to work for people who I've worked with and helped build their careers. So I am a cybersecurity career coach. I help people build their salaries and their incomes and find jobs. And so that's what this series is all about. It's how can you get started so that you can get what you want and you can have control over your career if cybersecurity is the type of career that you're looking for. And also something else that I'm excited to announce is I did create a free cybersecurity training course that is called Cybersecurity Essentials. The Cybersecurity Essentials training course that I created is actually something that was developed under my company, Notia Point, but Notia Point supports me. It's I'm the founder of the company anyways, so I get to determine what might be helpful to develop and what might be helpful to release. And so I have a class that's designed for those of you who just need to figure out how to get started. So if you are watching this video, I strongly encourage you to just go ahead and take the free email course. If for some reason you have issues getting access to the course or getting the emails for that course, you can always email me directly at nathan.riley at noshapoint.com. My information is in the details below and also the link to that training is in a link in the video below and this is once again for those of you who just have no idea where to start you just might not have any experience in cybersecurity at all or maybe you just have a little experience with cybersecurity related things but you haven't had an actual cybersecurity job yet and you are just trying to get that money trying to get that first cybersecurity job get that foot in the door so go ahead and sign up for the course and sit tight until the next time when we talk about how self-awareness is going to help you build your cybersecurity career and get started even if you have no experience.